everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on the inside, trying to kind of figure out this whole area. Now I've got the kitchen already all laid out on paper, but it's nice to lay it out in the real world to see how it feels to walk through it. You guys might remember from the beginning of this series, it's like day three, I think, I have a, a Minecraft walkthrough. It's like a virtual walkthrough where I was kind of able to move through the space a little bit and kind of feel how things kind of connect with each other. That was, you know, fun and all, but in Minecraft, when you're designing it, the walls all have to be three feet thick. So, you know, there were some, uh, you know, limitations with that. And, but now, in the real world, I can kind of walk in and feel that the refrigerator is about here where the chair is. There's counters on the side here in the kitchen. There's a a stove here, a sink right in front of the window, and I can kind of feel the space as I'm walking through it. I've got little boards laid out on the floor as to where things are going to be. And specifically, I'm trying to figure out this wood stove right here. There's going to be a post here that goes from the floor, not this size post, like the size of the post that's to your left right over there. A uh, big post that goes up to the ceiling here. There's going to be another one that kind of mirrors it over here. Same kind of like large size post made out of two by sixes. Uh, there's going to be kind of a hole here. I wanted to make sure that this is wide enough because, you know, if you bring groceries or, you know, whatever into the kitchen, probably come from there through here. And you don't want to be like, you know, kind of navigating with these bags in your hand. You want it to be kind of comfortable coming in um, into this area. But the problem that's really vexing me is, uh, is this wood stove area. Um, specifically, how the, the hearth is going to work underneath it. I want to uh, lay some brick down. It's kind of nice to have a differentiation between what's kind of the dirty hearth and what is your clean floor. Um, I, it just aesthetically, you know, having the a lot of you know, because whenever you're burning wood, there's always like you know dust and you know pieces of wood grit and leaves and things like that. And if they're up on the platform with the wood stove, it's kind of fine. But if they're just on the floor, they're going to be kind of like you know blowing around and getting on people's feet and everything. So it's nice to have that, have that differentiation, but where exactly does that work out? The wood stove has to be right around here. Here's the center line of the stove pipe here. That needs to be, in fact, it's a little too close. It needs to be 19 inches from any burnable surface, and it's 19 inches to center with a six inch stove that's gonna have three inches on either side. So it's gonna have to be insulated coming down, which is really silly because they say you need that much distance for safety on uh, for an unprotected wood surface and in my experience you know you could get by with like that and this is completely safe so saying that you need that is uh, it's kind of irritating because you know I could easily manage that but that's illegal and considered unsafe and this is safe unsafe safe unsafe and like I said in practice I've seen this used a lot and uh, you know nothing ever burned down. Not that I would design that into the system but you know somewhere like this or this is totally fine uh, in reality. So uh, it's a little frustrating because you know, I've got the uh, kind of design considerations trying to keep things flowing. I've got uh, the legal considerations of what's like considered safe and allowable but then there's also real safety uh, considerations the more I bring this wood stove out into the space, the more the, uh, the brick hearth kind of comes out into the space. And I don't want it to be kicking out so much that you like stub a toe when you come around the corner. I want to kind of keep it uh, you know, kind of smooth and what you'd kind of expect. Uh, I've got this stick here, you know, that's maybe like that'll be the brick area on the other side of the stick. But then like, what do you do here? There's a post, you know, if you bring it out straight, you're going to miss the leg here. If you bring it out, it, an angle or something like that. You know, is it going to be the kind of thing where you're always catching a toe and tripping and falling? And um, in order to avoid a fake safety concern, you might create a real safety concern. So, so that's, that's uh, I always find things like that a little bit difficult. So I like to kind of like lay stuff out, see where the problems are, and then sometimes I just like to sleep on it and see if I can come up with any ideas. Uh, because uh, the last thing I want to do is in order to avoid fake safety concerns that I create real dangers. So uh, that's where things are today. Laying things out, see how they feel, and uh, you know, try to get this to a place where I'm going to be comfortable and feel safe for people being in here, um, and also something that's legally allowable. That's it. Thanks for watching.